Welcome to King Jive Show, where today, Jives will be interviewing internationally renowned speaker. And if you've never been told that you're loved before, I'm here to tell you tonight that Jesus loves you and he proved it on the cross. Poet. I've spent my whole life trying to run from that feeling, that feeling of being lonely, that feeling of being lost, that feeling of being sick when the lights turn off. And author, Clayton Jennings. In a three-part exclusive interview, press the share button and enjoy. Hey everybody, Demario here. What's going on? Welcome to episode two. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel and also make sure you hit that like button on the video and also make sure you run on over there to Instagram and subscribe and follow over there on the Instagram channel. Thank you all so much. And for early birds who want to see the next episode, make sure you go and subscribe to the Patreon so that you all could get a chance to be the first ones to see what's going on. I know that you guys are going to enjoy it. So sit back, put your seatbelts on. Let's get ready for episode two. What made you throw up the middle fingers? Uh, uh, sin. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, um, like it was totally, it was totally inappropriate, uncalled for. I shouldn't admit that. Oh man, it was it was childish. It's embarrassing. It's super embarrassing. Uh, I look back on a lot of things that I've done in the past, posted in the past, whatever, and I just cringe. I'm like, man, that's, that's a lot not of times, the heart of God, bro. A lot of times, especially now with social media or just the web, period. Once you post it, it's there forever. It's there forever. Yeah. It's there forever. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. Yeah. Once you post it, for whatever crazy reason, it yeah. goes to every site. Yeah. And it's not about you posting it. It's just, that's just the way it works. Exactly. So. Exactly. And then everybody uses that to get clicks to make money. With what you do and just being Clayton Jennings. Yeah. You have gotten negative press yeah people have attacked you mm -hmm. and really tried to dehumanize you yeah and you know really they you you just want to be a pretty boy um you you are a womanizer whatever you're only popular because girls follow you right they don't even see the ratio of my following and again that that goes back to the the middle fingers. Yeah, it goes back <laughs> to the middle fingers. And it's like after at some point, you can't help the fact that you look how you look. You are the person that you are. You have a personality. You're char charismatic. You know, you have charisma. Charisma, yeah. And a lot of the people, sometimes, that attack you, you don't never see their faces. Sometimes. Oh, bro. You no. never see their faces. No. They hide behind cameras. They're ghosts. They hide behind keyboards. They're ghosts. And they're just like, yeah, I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. But I never see your face. Mm -hmm. What do you look like? Yeah. Yeah. You're attacking this man because of what? Yeah. And I mean, that, that, that might sound a little condescending or a little arrogant or egotistical. But why are you attacking this man? Is it that he has something that you don't have? Mm. Is it something that you've never had before? Because a lot of times, if you look at if you look at entertainment, people get attacked because of their beauty, their looks, their personality, things that people don't have, and they hate that. Mm. So you take a person, um, you take a person. Uh, let, let's take there's this uh, mu musical artist Lizzo. Uh, Lizzo is a very heavy set girl, mm. and they call her fat. Who calls her fat? The internet. The internet calls her fat. Yeah. And they attack her because she's not ashamed of her body. She'll wear like real, uh, excuse me, uh, crazy looking outfits, but she's not ashamed. Is she a Christian artist? No, okay. she's R and B. Oh man, I should, I should know. I probably hear, heard her music or something. I don't know. So. <laughs> So it's like she's attacked because of that. Yeah. Anything that doesn't look like or looks like what you desire. Yeah. 
I want to attack it because I can't be you. Right. And I think you, you know. Yeah, I, I think that's. I mean, and even even with that, even with R and B, it's the same as with preachers in in the church. When you have gone, when you have been a sensation, and people know you all over the world, it's no different than a rock star. Except being, you know, except being a a preacher, you have to be, uh, you have to live a certain way. Yeah, at least that's you you're know, held to a higher standard. Yeah, you're yeah. held to a higher standard, and so people do things to set you up. Oh my goodness, you they no do idea. things to plant. I'm telling, they will they will plant girls. They will plant guys. They will they will put cameras in places, and and if they know that your weakness is is doing drugs or weed, or they know you smoke or whatever, they'll put things there and they'll get you on camera to record you doing something. Say, like, see, I told you, that's what they do. Anything to discredit you. That like if you would have told me that in two thousand. 10, <laughs> I'd have said, no, that doesn't happen. Oh, yes, it said, does. Everybody's like, we're all family when we follow Jesus. No, uh, oh, I don't know. Just because. They love Jesus, but they, they're now working on the same team. Yeah, but if they love Jesus, Jesus said, if you love me, you, you'll keep my commandments. And then the greatest of these is love, bro. So you can't love Jesus and do that at the same time. <laughs> over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? You just can't. Can't people can't say, oh, "I love Jesus," but all the time I'm, I'm doing everything that is the antithesis of what Jesus taught. Mm -hmm. But I love Jesus, and and speaking about myself, I can't say, "Oh, I love Jesus," but then sin, mm -hmm. and 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 know you're sinning, and still do that thing because you're you're whatever searching. For more, um, losing your own faith because you've seen the mm -hmm. dirty side of ministry. So you start wondering, like, what is this thing? Is it just a business mm -hmm. or is this real? And then just your sin nature, man. Like, for me, my struggle has always been lust. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, I mean, being real. Mm -hmm. And I've always, like, told my friends, like, ah, I really wish I... Struggled with cocaine. <laughs> now, I know that sounds so stupid. No, it doesn't. but it's just like sometimes. Sometimes you know you would you would wish that you like okay. So like for me, uh, sometimes my my struggle is sweets, and some days I wish that my struggle was being a gym rat. But I don't have that struggle. <laughs> I feel like I like sweets, so it's just it is what it is. <laughs> I've but, seen it tonight. Yeah, yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> so it's like I get that part, but again, mm -hmm. preachers, okay, preachers are held to a higher standard. Yeah, that a lot of times they don't live by. Yeah, and it depends on who you are or your circle because if you do something wrong, we'll act. We'll just all right. Don't do that. And keep on doing what you're doing. Mm. Other people, they don't get that. What I've seen in the media is if you're connected to the right people, they'll make it go away. Yeah. And then sometimes, yeah. if you're not connected to the right people, and there are certain people that don't like you. You're done. They will pay people to destroy uh, you. I know, man. Yeah, I know. They will I know, they man. will make sure that every waking moment you're haunted. That you are haunted. They will make sure that somebody is there with a website, a yeah. video. Yeah. That man, they'll have hoodies on and covering up their faces. You know, we don't like Caden Jenny. <laughs> He's he's a horrible man. No, he's a whore. He's 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 a witch. He's he's the one trick pony. He's a lustful man. Don't like him. See the Bible says, "Woe be unto the wolves in, in sheep's clothing." All of this stuff. Well, hiding. And you're hiding. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and even if they don't hide, they do hide. And it's like we because they become then, go yeah, ahead, go ahead. They become keyboard gangsters yeah. to destroy you. And then some of these people that do this are preachers themselves. Yeah. They're preachers themselves. Yeah. These are church people too. Yeah. That do this stuff. They get behind the keyboards. Oh, he's ugly. He's horrible. I can't believe this. Oh my God. Did he really do that? Oh my God. Yeah. Same people asking for, oh Lord, give me grace. Oh, help me. I've sinned. Yes. Oh my God. Clayton Jennings. Oh, he's a horrible man. That's oh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh God, I need your grace. Oh God, I'm just struggling with lust right now. Oh, look at people lusting after all of this. We can use a pretty boy. Look at all them women on the on social media site. Man, get out of here. If you're asking God for grace, give it to somebody else. Oh, that's good. If you're asking God for grace, just make sure you can hand that same grace to somebody else. Yeah, man. You're struggling with something, somebody else is struggling with the same thing. Yeah. See, me personally, I'm a vlogger. Mm -hmm. And I've had to learn that, yes, everybody struggles and has their pitfalls and stuff like that. But while we are rearing and tearing people down, for the ones that know the word, yeah. And that grew up in the church. We can talk about what they did wrong. Why not walk from prayer? Mm. While we sitting up here, we we do all this stuff like that, right? Why don't we offer prayer? Mm. When I when I saw your video, my thing was, and to be honest with you, that this may sound like I'm butt kissing. But it's the truth. I was like, man, you know, when I saw you and I saw Fred Price, I was like, I just pray for him. Yeah. Now, did I do that for other people? No, I didn't because I felt more sympathetic to you guys because I saw that you had a heart. Mm. Everybody ain't got no heart. Some of these preachers are arrogant as heck. And I was like, man, we going to roast you. Mm. But that's one thing that the Lord dealt with me about. Mm. And that was praying for people wow. recently. That's good. Because I was too busy focusing on the tea, roasting, Talk gang. about what you don't like instead of promoting what you what you stand for. And so that I, I was so big on the gossip part of it. Yeah. But as, as, as a child of God, as a person who is used of God, I was just blinded by just one thing and then one day it was just like there's nothing wrong with the exposure but what about taking that same exposure and taking it and using it as a teachable moment yeah and then praying for your brother praying for your sister let me talk to you real quick about this yeah because it's about to get heavy huh it's called switching up the narrative the narrative, the narrative switched on me so quick, bro. The narrative went from here. Here's this guy. He's out of the box. He's <laughs> he's he's a revivalist. He the young people, the old people, everybody doesn't matter. They're coming. They're filling up places. Like it was crazy. We could just and it's not like the other thing is people are like, oh man, that must have been cool. It's still like that. I, we could go to a city and like, okay, uh, I'm, I'll be in Dallas in, in two weeks and we'll have a crowd there. And I'm not saying that because I'm that cool. No, I just know God every time brings people because the gospel is going to get shared. He's so faithful, man. He's so faithful. So th that whole thing was never like cool to me. It was an honor to share it to so many people and like so many souls, but I never wanted that, man. Like ever. I planned on trying to like go to LA and 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 do something out there and film work or whatever. And I had opportunities and doors opening, but I could not stop talking about Jesus. No matter what, man, I couldn't stop talking about it. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. I'm like. Thank you, Jesus, that I couldn't stop talking about you. Because now all look at all the lives, man, that have been like changed and saved. And now you got people writing me like I used to listen to you in middle school. And now I'm a, pa a young pastor at this church. And I'm thinking, well, 
I must be getting old if that's the case. It scares me. <laughs> but you see that, and it's amazing. But then you, you, you never read those things by the press. Oh, no. You, you, you'll you, never read those things. Because here's the thing. You'll just hear lies and exaggerated ones. There, there's this thing in, in, with, with uh, the media. Dirt sales. Yeah, yeah. If it bleeds, it leads, bro. And, you know, you, you get the people who love the fluffy. Oh, the people love that. But there's always, and I can say this now because I've had to live this. Yeah, you're going through it too, huh? Switching the narrative up mm -mm -mm -mm. will always bring clicks and views. I've always been a vlogger that like to, that like to state the facts and the truth. I got you. But when there is no more tea to spill, yeah, you make some more tea out of the tea you've already made. And you make some more tea out of that you tea. You just regurgitate that. And same you make thing, some more man. tea out of that it's tea. It's like, where does it go away? Oh, it, it go well, it never goes away until it's just okay, are we still talking about this? Kobe Bryant just died. Oh. And you got people bringing up this thing with this girl. How many years ago, bro? Again, we're still making And, and, and if you just look at the facts, it was all proven wrong. Like, it was all proven that her claims and that it was all proven wrong. They don't care. And, and they don't care because they'll just go back to that thing and hammer that guy. They don't talk about all the people he put through college. They don't talk about all the community work he did and the millions he gave away to help sick kids and hospitals. Like, they talk about that? So come on. So and it's just like you're not a public figure. So that's why you get to say those things because if you were a public figure, you'd be getting shredded too. Because there's so much dirt on you. People that get out here and they trash talk you. Mm. What they don't realize is, and we talked about this, you've had to battle depression because of this. Man, I battled depression. So, yeah, you like battled sickness you battled uh just all kinds of things and even though attacks. even though i i have to i know that i've probably put some people through that myself because of things that i did although i didn't go that bad on folks some people mm. but i don't think when people get behind those keyboards they think about that <laughs> now yeah. with that when they're put in that place because, you know, to be honest with you, what I could do, <laughs> I could do this, but what I could do, take those very same individuals that are attacking you and put them on blast. Yeah. Or oh, look at them. Yeah. Oh, you're ugly. Look at your fat. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. And then just keep reaming them mm. until the point where people see them in the street. And be like, oh, you're that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. you're that. Yeah, oh, you're. Yeah. See, it's when labeling. your shoe is on the other foot, it doesn't feel good. People can't handle it. It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. So, I mean, listen, for me, from the jump, when things popped off, I, I was like, uh, I don't want anyone to put me on a pedestal. Because I'd seen in the ministry life for generations. Mm -hmm. And I know what happens. You build them up just to try to tear them. When the day after Billy Graham died, people were shredding him, man. But like, that's Billy Graham. It goes back to what the Bible said. Today, they cry and say, Hosanna. And tomorrow, they're going to say, crucify. They did it in days to Jesus. And I'm not saying it that we're like Jesus, but he said, but he also said, example. take this cross upon you and learn of hmm. me. For my yoke. See, when you learn of him, it becomes a little easier. Yeah. Now, that don't mean it's going to feel good, but it becomes a little easier. Yeah. Because you understand, okay, bull crap is going to happen. Mm. Now, I'm, I'm working on this custom thing. So, okay. You wear that sweater. You really, right to to it. You really got to. Thank you. No cursing. <laughs> don't wear that in traffic. You'll end up cursing. Right. But. It becomes a daily walk to say, okay, stuff is going to happen. Mm. If I fall, okay, 
make it right, move on. Keep moving forward. There's gonna, and I, I'm, I'm really learning this and embracing this now. Mm. And I'm really learning how to just let it be what it's gonna be. Mm. I was telling my sister who I, we video chatted. There was a, there's this huge mess that's going on and I had to tell her some stuff we can't respond to. You just can't, man. Because if we, if, if, if you, I'm giving, put it back on you. If you get out here and every time somebody makes a video about you, you make another video. They make a video. That's you what make they, video. They, you they, make, they, you make mm, mm. Yeah, And it's like, you take the focus off. Yes. Yes. And that's what I did, bro. While you're going back and forth with people that mean nothing. Yeah. Puff of they wings. want your attention. Yeah. They want a reaction. And because they want your attention, they're going to do whatever it takes. So if it means talking about your wife, talking that's about true. your kids, talking about your life, talking about your parents, which mm. hey, they did do that. Mm. They have done that. That, 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 that. That's what pushes me over over the edge, man. But and see, it's just like, <clears throat> all right. There's freedom of speech. Yeah, it is freedom of speech. You know, but there are consequences oh. with every action that's <laughs> taken. I went through this whole thing last year, and it was like twenty some bloggers. Mm, they're coming after you, attacking me. <laughs> And I mean, you know, at first I was like, what? Yeah. And then, you know, I was trying to take the spiritual. I was like, okay, God is just making my name great. Then I was just yeah. like, okay. Then I kind of enjoy Every day now. Like, I mean, it was a video after video. I was in my closet vlogging. They had a problem with me in my closet vlogging. Yeah. My fur coat was hanging up behind me. Oh, you're closet. showing off your fur coat. Oh, my God, you're showing off your fur coat. <laughs> Oh, oh, he just trying to show off his clothes. And I'm like, I'm just in my clock. <laughs> it never failed. It was like constant, yeah. constant. What I what I learned is mm. I'm content for you. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. I whoa. am content. That's real. That's for you. Wow, wow. Because you I am the reason. Because you are creative enough to go. make your own content. There you go. You go so that you're their content. I never thought of it like that. That's embarrassing. I'm the reason. That's embarrassing. You eat. Now I, I have thought of that. <laughs> I'm the reason. Yeah. Clayton Jennings is the reason a lot of people are eating right now. Yeah. So your like, vlog has my name in it over and over, over again, and over and over and over. And every narrative. I mean, listen. They can put out nothing, but they can say, you know what. You slept with a shark. <laughs> they say you went out to, to the sea. And there's going to be people in the comments like with the shark emoji. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> so gross. Oh, my God. They will believe it. Yeah, man. There are people that right now, there are people that are flip-flopping narratives, all kind of things about me. Mm. And do I want to respond? Absolutely. Yeah. Do I want to cuss them out? Absolutely. Yeah. But the more I respond to them, mm -hmm. the more they're going to keep that and they're going to keep flipping it. And you're going to be like, no, I didn't say that. No, I didn't exactly. say that. Exactly. No, 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 no. Manipulate your words mm -hmm. and twist it. Oh, manipulate. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, so it's just now, it's not worth it. Like, but I've gone down that road. You, man. Yeah, I remember it. And you will get tired. It's funny. You, you've been sick because of this. Ah, man. Like, I'll tell you something. The words of my enemies have never hurt me like the silence from my friends. Oh, yeah. That's what I hurt. And that's what, that's what pushed me to the, to, the, to the middle fingers. When your friends don't hit, or your friends don't say nothing. No, all the people that are, like, blowing your phone up, you know, because they want, they want you at their event for attendance. So they'll blow your phone up, blow your phone up, and in the moment that something is said or something is written, they know they've got skeletons in their closet. So they're like, oh, you got to distance myself. And then the phone doesn't ring. But then you go through the storm and all of a sudden you make it out and your phone starts ringing again. 
One thing that's I, why I did the that's why I did that. One thing I've learned about that is if I'm telling my people, y'all don't fight this one. That's one thing. But if you see me out here fighting and you know my life, you need to say something for me because you're my friend, skeleton or not. Yeah. Now, one thing my auntie always told me was if you can't go with me. You can't grow if you can't grow with me. You can't, you can't go, go with me. me. That's good. She was a poet. If you cannot go with grow with me, you, you can't, can't go, go to me. where where God is trying to take me. Yeah, because I endured these hardships mm. as a good soldier. Because mm. not responding mm. and taking the high road like Michelle Obama is really hard. Mm. It's not easy like people think. Now, me personally, you know, we can go down through a whole lot of what has and what didn't happen and everything like that. Yeah. But the truth of the matter is, you are still here. Mm. And no matter if your favorite best friend spoke it into you or whatever, I'm going to say it, you're still here. And what people try to do to you, it ain't worked. Mm. It may have affected you. Mm. But it won't work yeah. because honestly, the enemy tries to use people all the time to stop you from being effective to people all over the world. Yeah. And I'm quite sure because you've been to Africa, Man. you've been to China. Never been, China. Never China? Well, especially not now, bro. Oh. Trying to get that coronavirus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, not China. You've been everywhere. Been. Yeah, all around the world. Ask yourself where these people have been. In their basements, on their keyboards. Behind the computer screen. Yeah. You're affecting millions of people every day. Yeah, it's wild. And what you have to also look at is that even though I am dealing with foolishness, I'm talking to myself right now. Yeah. Even though I'm dealing with foolishness, I'm still blessing somebody's life. Mm. When you're when you're on telling your devotionals, you're still blessing somebody else's life. Yeah, and I'm be and I'm and I'm obeying God because I'm sharing His word. And He is. He it, says, it "If may you not, honor me, I'll honor you." It may not look like it right now. Yeah. But the blessing is coming out of this. Yeah. And being able to tell somebody else, if I can come through it, so can you. Man, okay. What, what's what's the, what's the song say? Though the storms keep on raging in. My life. I don't know this one. And sometimes it's hard to tell. This, is a, this is a black folk song or a white folk song. Right, right, right. That's why I don't. Still, there's hope that lies within to be reassured. Okay, yeah. whatever. Get it. But the 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 the, the gist of it is, <laughs> if just start doing some poetry and singing right now. Look. <laughs> In the midst of all of it, you'll make it out of it. You just have to maintain. You just got to keep talking about You just got to keep sharing the gospel. Now, but see, you got to be in the word, man. You got to be in the word and see, in the prayer. That, God had to change my heart. See, that, 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 that's good. Yeah. But see, even though you're in the word, in the word, you got to remind yourself. Of what God has said about that's you. that that that's so profound, man. You got to remind you because you're while so you right giving, you're so while right you keep giving to other people, because you, you I, I see you every day. You giving videos, giving videos, going you to riot. You go have to look at look at yourself in the mirror, in the reflections of the water, and remind yourself who you are and who God called you to be. Now that sounds like church. But that's something that I've had to do. Yeah, that's good, man. I, and even though sometimes I, I don't want to look at myself, you have to look at yourself. And some, I'm telling you, it works. And you got to say to yourself, dude, get it together. I know that. I know that. Get it together. I'm telling my like, I was at a point where I wanted to take my own life. And it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've been there. I've you been mean there. to tell me? I'm like looking in the mirror. You mean to tell me you are gonna take yourself out for some stuff that some, that you will never ever meet these people, mm. and these people will never ever approach you, mm. won't say nothing, 
They won't even speak to you in public, mm. but they'll get behind a computer. Yeah. You gonna take yourself out? Mm. Or what some ignorant people want to do to you? It's happened now, bro. I know. It's happened. I can say names right now. But why? Why give why give why give, why give, them give cloud? Why give cloud? Yes. That's why why give them so them bad? Them. Why? But we're talking about people who have done that. Bullied mm. a, a kid till he killed himself. On Twitter, cause cause he couldn't get to that kid's dad, so I got that kid's dad texting me saying, "Good for you for going back at him," because nobody had gone back at these people. And what people think about me is, oh, he's a. I, I mean, when the, when I was first at the scene, oh, he's a. It's his looks or look, whatever, like, which is so silly to me and dumb and shallow. But it's like, oh, it's his looks and it's this and that, that that's bringing people. And, and what they didn't realize, man, is, man, I was hurting that whole time. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't want what came. Mm -hmm. I don't think you were taught how to deal with. Fame. No, man, no. And, uh, and, and I don't like the, fame. The, I don't the like... attention. Yeah. And no one's ever taught that. Somebody. Nobody, some... no, no one's ever taught when you become successful, you need to watch out for this, that, and the third. Yeah. No one, no, there's not a book to say this is what you need to do. Mm. But mm. this is what you do. Mm. Yeah. You teach those who are coming up behind you. Mm. Your life is a teachable moment mm. that this is what I've had to go through. Mm. So yeah. when you're coming up, it looks good. Oh my God, Clayton Jennings got millions of views, millions for followers. Oh my God. But what did you have to go through to get here? Man, that's why I told you I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it again. And that, like, it's hard for me to say that because I think of all the good that has happened when people's lives have been changed in a positive way. But it's, I mean, the fact that I'm sitting here talking to you right now, and I told you I never do interviews. Mm. Um, and it's not like I got NBC knocking on my door right. to do an interview right now. But I'm always getting hit up by podcasts and and things like that and, and vloggers and vloggers to do to do interviews and some media too. And I always say no because I know it's like they'll take sound bites and they'll twist it Absolutely. or whatever, right? Absolutely. And and at the end of the day, I don't want I don't want to be the focus anyways. Like I just want Jesus to be the focus, especially now in my life, because I realized how 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 empty it is when you get the praise. It's so empty, man. And the moment that that praise turns to persecution, you realize just just how fake it was, too. Mm -hmm. But you, when I came under attack years ago, like you were the only one that showed grace mm -hmm. and like had a brain between your ears enough <laughs> to like look at the facts mm -hmm. and present it in a loving way. And you didn't. Just shelf the fact that, nah, this dude, this dude's a sinner just like anyone else. Mm -hmm. I've sinned, right? But you showed me grace and kindness when everybody else was just like throwing bombs, man. Not even rocks, bombs. And when they couldn't hit me, they went after my family. And that, for me, is like crossing the line. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. you know, if it wasn't for people like you... That showed me that kindness. Uh, I don't know if I'd have come back. I was about to just walk away from it. I'm like, this isn't worth it. And there's so many other opportunities for me out there. It's like, I don't have to do this. I can't stop talking about Jesus, though. And to whom much is given, much is required. And he gave me this platform for a reason. What did he do? To tell the world from the jump. Tell the world what? About Jesus. All right, how am I going to do that? I'm just going to read Psalms every day and share the gospel, you know? So it's like these things. And and that's what, that's the only thing that, that, that makes me 
gives me peace mm -hmm. or, or, or fulfills me or makes the anxiety go away. Mm -hmm. And it's not my attackers that have driven me to depression or anxiety or made me, you know, like, I'm not going to give them credit for right. anything. They would want that, right? It's, it's, it's things that, you know, people would look at me like, you are a pretty boy, you have, you have it all, and it all just came so easy. They don't see years of hard work and sleepless nights, grinding and grinding and grinding and making content, and writing and writing and writing, all with the hope of reaching my lost friends in my town, not with the hope of reaching the world. I was just trying to reach my friends at the time. Working, 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 working. Why? Because I really believe in this thing called the gospel. Grinding, grinding, grinding. And they don't see the fact that not only was it a struggle to, to get a platform that I never wanted or asked for, it just came. Uh, and then like, here's a license to preach as well. Let me tell you something. I never asked for that. Mm -hmm. I don't need man to approve me to speak exactly. anything, man. God is the one that saved me. I answer to him and him alone. And, I, and I'll never answer to men, whether you call them deacons or you call them elders or whatever, and some have great ones in their churches, but I'm never going to answer to people when I know all the dirt in their life and in their family's lives. And I know that it outweighs mine at times, but they're not saying a word about it. And it's like, what? And I'm supposed to submit to that? Mm. No, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not playing, I'm not, play, I'm not playing the ladder games. And um, and what they don't, what people don't realize, it's my life has been. I'm like it's, I shouldn't be here talking to you, mm -hmm. straight up. Like there's a lot of things, man, that have happened since I was like a kid. Um, all the. Like a lot of trauma mm -hmm. and a lot of hurt, man, you know? And I, I didn't ever want any of that. And so I, I always carried pain from uh, things that happened that people don't know about for years, man. And it just seems like it, it never ended. Uh, just one like trauma after another trauma after another trauma and you can only take so much of that stuff before you just want to stick a gun in your mouth and and send a bullet through it when people do these things and even though it does affect you when people do these things they're trying to build themselves up they're trying to build a platform up for themselves. And they're trying to do that because there are people that will listen to them. Stupid. They may lie and they are lying oh my left God. and right. Mm -mm. But there are people that will listen to them. Mm -hmm. And you get mad because some of them are your followers. And you be looking like I thought you, I thought you. I, I've been doing I, this for years yo, and you, yo, I tell my own stories. Yo. I tell y'all what I don't do. Y'all wake up with me, you go to poop with me, you eat with me, and you mean to tell me you're going to still leave me and go follow this mess because this person said X, Y, Z? Yeah, 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 that, 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 that's shocking to me. I'm not shocked no more. But I'm not anymore, man. But, but it, this, it was shocked. I should say it was shocking to me. Because I saw the same thing happen to my parents and my grandparents. You know, like being pastors. Oh, yeah, mine too. They'll go and like do all the like midnight hospital runs and baking cakes. I'm like, Mom, I want a cake. But she's baking cakes for everybody else in the church. And then guess who turns around and stabs them in the back when they just read some junk? Instead of coming to them and saying, well, what's, the what's your side? The same ones who they just went to the hospital. Yeah, the same ones, bro. The same ones. And But my parents, even through like everything they've been through, and they, like my parents have faithfully walked with God, whereas I've had faults in my life. And I still struggle with, 
I still struggle with battle, battling sin. I mean, I'm open enough to admit that. And I'm like, if you don't, where, who are you? I should follow you because you're perfect. But there's a difference between struggling with it and then, and then, and then jumping into that. Mm -hmm. But the problem is this, man. So many people will say, well, I've never done this or this or this and that. And it's like, but they claim to be followers of Jesus. If they'll say, Jesus said, if you think about it, you, it's the same as if you've done it as far as being judged. Right? Mm -hmm. If you look at someone with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart and you're under the same judgment. If, if, you, have, if you harbor anger in your heart towards another, that's the, you, you're, you're a murderer in God's eyes. Yo, look at the church, man. Everybody's angry at somebody. And then we all think we're just supposed to get along in heaven someday. That's why what you said earlier rocked me because you said heaven's going to, it's going to, there's going to be people up there we didn't think were going to be there. And, and there's going to be people up there that, people missing up there that we thought would be there. I don't want to be missing, man. We hope you're enjoying the interview. Make sure you follow King Jives and Clayton Jennings on all social media platforms and sign up to support this show by clicking the link in the description. Thank you for tuning in. Now, back to the interview. One thing I've learned is these situations come. And I've had to learn this at my little level where I'm at. I'm not even... Yeah, man, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 with I'm you. not at any level, bro. It's all smoke and mirrors, this whole thing. It is. It's all smoke and mirrors, man. One thing that I had to learn about it is, though, that if you can't handle the stress and drama here. Got it. It's not going to take you there. Oh, you can't. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cause you, if these, like these little bitty demons here. Ants. Ain't nothing compared. New levels, new to levels. Them tarantulas and, and wombats and Carol up here. Man. Because here is, oh, you know, you got a few ants. Oh, they beat me. Oh, I'm itching. Oh, my God. Mm. You going to have some things coming at you here. Mm. Perfect example. Last year, I had about, I was telling I had like 20 some vloggers with my name in the comments. Mm. I was upset because I was like, Everybody's lying. Yeah, that's and everybody's attacking my family, and I'm like, "What are you and doing?" You just want them to know the truth. And I, I kept saying, "Well, this is the truth," and they kept spinning, spinning things. everything, man. And even then, somebody said this to me, and the Lord said it to me too. If you keep responding to the foolishness, all they're going to do is keep feeding. Off of what you say. Yeah. Every time you open your mouth, boom, another reply. Another reply. You know this is gonna this is gonna get written about. But that's not what I said. Boom. Yeah. Another reply. But that's not what I boom. Yeah. Boom. And you gonna spin your wheels. Yeah. Reply to foolishness. Yeah. When if you just say nothing, let them talk. Right. Today. Good example. Today. Somebody was out doing foolishness and just on the internet, just pop, 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 pop. About you? Uh-huh. All right. And I was like, and I told somebody, I said, y'all don't even want to go look. I went and looked. And it was on that pop, pop. And I'm just like, click. Mm. The only thing I could do, because I was getting ready to do Bible work. The only thing I could do is just speak what was given to me. Yeah. And that is, the enemy will use people to get in your circle. Yeah. To find out who you are, what you're doing, and what you're trying to do. What is your vulnerable spots? Yeah. Once they find that, ba, 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 you know, you know, I found out this, and they, and you know this, and they, you, you know that. Yeah. And that's all they do. Yeah, man. Yeah. It gives. Because it gives them, what's the word I'm using for it? It gives them that uh, notability that, oh, you were Clayton Jennings' friend. So you must really know something. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Oh, you were you were Demario's friend. Mm. So what you said must be true. Yeah. Oh, you said you talked to him every day? 
It must be true. Mm. Some people don't care nothing about losing your friendship. Yeah. Losing your 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 love, your loyalty, anything, because it's like I can write a book because I was Clayton Jennings' friend. Mm. I can tell a story. Put me on TV. I was playing Jennings. <laughs> I can tell y'all about what is what he really like. Mm. People these days don't care. Why? Why? Does anything really make sense anymore? It doesn't. <laughs> okay, it just it doesn't. I mean, I, I'm not gonna walk into a gas station. I told you, I'm not gonna walk into a gas station if I stole a candy bar, walk out, and then somebody comes to me and says, "Hey, you stole a candy bar and you punched the clerk. You, you're you're in trouble for both." Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna ask for forgiveness for punching the clerk if I never punched mm -hmm. the clerk. Right. So just stick to the facts, and I'll own it if it's real. They're not gonna do that. But because I've been an open book, I've always told people I struggle. I have a, I, I, I have struggles that you know I, we can get into here in a second and talking about. But it's like that's when I said, no, nah, I'm not doing that. You know, all that all that matters to me is is what my family and friends and and my savior thinks. I have people sit up out here and say things about my mother, uh, say my mom should have uh, just aborted me, uh, she should have did this, that, and the third, uh, my grandmother should have just did this. And, and these, people, like, pe these people claim to be yeah believers. Yeah. Believers in what? Hate? <laughs> you know what? We all, we're always like, yo, it's cool. They're all believers. That doesn't mean that they're saved. Exactly. Demons believe in Jesus. Satan believes in Jesus. They believe that he's real. They know he's real. So just saying, ah, I'm a believer or yo, yo, I got the church or whatever. Just because you claim the title Christian does not mean that you've been born again. So when I came, a lot of times when I come under attack and I'm like, I thought we were on the same team. I realize we're not. We're not. Mm -mm. And, and you'll know who's who because if people are just... Just attacking people, Jesus said, "You'll know them by their love." Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that there's a di there's a difference between addressing something that's wrong mm -hmm. and speaking out about it, and then just trying to destroy that person. Satan comes to to destroy. to destroy. Yeah, exactly. Jesus comes to bring life and mm -hmm. life more abundantly. Mm -hmm. The heart of a Christian should never be, "I'm gonna wipe you out." Life is too short, man, to keep to, to keep mm -hmm. getting caught up in stuff. And, like, life is too short to just be battling people and fighting people. And, like, the same people that write about others have we're, have skeletons in their closet, man. Like, we're, we're all flawed. If I was out there saying, I'm, I've never sinned, blah, 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 I, don't, I, do, I haven't done anything wrong, and follow me, shred me, man, shred me. But tell me any time I've ever said that, ever. So... I appreciate your kindness, man, because it, it showed me not everybody is out there just to destroy people. You know what I mean? A real brother is going to call you out when, when, when you're wrong. They're going to say, yo, you got to stop doing that. Iron sharpens iron. But a real brother is going to come along and say, you got to stop doing that. Or, you, you know what, like you, you were wrong there. And then just beat, uh, beats you until you're freaking mush. And tries to just destroy you over that thing. You know, that's not, that's not, that's not who God is. That's not who God is. Next time on King Jive's exclusive interview with Clayton Jennings. It was pills, pills, pills. I was in Oklahoma City on tour and I passed out after I got done speaking. I couldn't breathe. And I just had this plan in my head, like, I'm just going to kill myself.